In this tutorial, I will show you how to add, remove, and reorder data plots. Origin provides two methods of adding data to an existing graph. Perhaps the fastest and easiest way is to select the column or columns you wish to add, position the mouse so that you see the pointer with little graphs icon, and then hold down the left mouse button while dragging and dropping the highlighted data into an existing graph layer. The column's Y plotting designation is used. This data was plotted against the associated X column, time, in the worksheet. To verify this, I'll make the graph active and click on the data menu to view the data list. Origin plotted the data as a line plot, the plot type of the graph. In the Options dialog, on the Graph tab, you can specify the drag and drop plot type. Now most users will probably leave the default as is, but if you always wanted, let's say, a scatter plot, you can set that as your default. Regardless of the graph you dropped the data into, it would always plot as a scatter plot. Removing a data plot is, of course, easier than adding. Simply right-click on it and choose Remove. While the data is no longer plotted in the graph, the column of data still exists in the worksheet. If I double-click on the Layer icon, the Plot Setup Configure Data Plots in Layer dialog opens. This dialog is very useful for adding or removing data plots as well. Right-click to remove. I can expand this dialog and select to add data from any available worksheet in the project. Holding down the Shift key allows me to select more than one worksheet. The middle panel will show the columns that are common between the two. I assign the X and Y columns and then click Add, which adds from both Trial Run 1 and Trial Run 2. Clicking the New Legend button will update the legend. The order that the data plots appear in the legend is the same order in which they appear in the layer. It is also the drawing order. In this graph, if we wish to have the fitted curve drawn on top of the column plot, we simply double-click on the layer icon to open the Plot Setup dialog. I can, ex I can minimize the top two panels. And then I can drag and drop to reorder the data plots in the plot list. Gauss fit now appears second in the layer and will therefore be drawn on top of the columns. In conclusion, drag and drop plotting is a fast and easy method of adding data to an existing graph. While the plot setup dialog can be used for complete control over configuring your graphs. Thank you for watching.